Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add a media block to a page in Namika S. So here I am in a site page. I'm just going to click on the edit button to get in there. Okay, so here I've set up my dummy page. I've got HTML blocks and notice how my headings, if you go onto the Omeka S uh, subject guide, you'll find um, a download to explain how to set up the actual page with headings. So you want to break your text up with headings because it just makes it easier for people to read. Anyway, I'm going to add a page block now. Um, I mean a media block. So here I go to add new block. I click on media. And here I am in my media block. It's open now on my page. And I'm going to add an image. So I just click add attachment. And here I have all the items that are linked to the item set, which is linked to my site. And I'm going to search for the item I want to add. And here it is. So what I just select it here. Now, if I decided I didn't want this item, I could change it and I'd be able to choose another item. If it had more than one um, image attached to it, as a media attachment to the item, I could choose between them. But this one only has one, so I have no choice. And here in caption, I'm actually going to add a copyright statement. say it's called Ooh. and make sure I spell it correctly. There we go. That's great. And then to save those I click apply changes and then you'll see the attachment will appear in the media block over here. Now I'm going to um, my op I'm going to choose select my options to choose how I want it to look on the screen. Now currently it's got large, this is the thumbnail type, but I could choose medium or square. The alignment is left, but it could be right if I chose that. And um, you can choose between uh, showing the item title, the media title, or no title on the page. Now if I choose no title, my caption's going to appear. So choose no title and the caption you popped in, my copyright statement will appear on the page. So now what I do, now that I've made those selections, I click save. Okay, so there it is, all saved. Now I'm just going to have a little look and see what it looks like on the page, the live page. So there it is down the bottom. And that looks pretty shonky. So I'm going to go back to my page edit screen. And firstly, I'm going to change that from large to medium. And because you want the images on a page capture people's attention, so you want those them up the top, really. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop, well, let's pop it there and see what it looks like. So what I did, I just moved the media block up and let's make it a right alignment. Save you. Ah, oh, that looks a bit better. But it's still gone a bit strange down here. So what I might do then is I might go back to my edit page. And just add a few white spaces, go save, and then I'll go view. Ah, that looks much better. So basically, once you've added your blogs, you can move them around until you're happy with where they are on the page. So let's see what happens when I move that up there. Oh, 
that looks even better, doesn't it, really? Mm. So there you go. There you have it. We've just added a media block.